Okay, let's integrate this problem. We got x over tangent x dx. Well, first I'm going to change I'm going to change tangent into cotangent x because okay, it's a reciprocal function. Pi over two dx, and then let's use by parts uh, integration by parts. So I'm going to choose u is equal to. Let me see. So we got only eight log first being u inverse algebra comes before trig so i'm gonna let u equal to x that that makes du is equal to just dx and then the other part is dv so dv let it equal to uh cotangent x but i'm gonna change cotangent into cosine x over sine x and then v is gonna be just gonna be when you integrate that it's just gonna be natural log of sine x okay uh, I've got dx over here all right then this integral should be uv so it's gonna be x times natural log of sine x and then I don't have to put uh, after the value because I'm I know my bounds gonna be from 0 to pi over 2 from 0 to pi over 2, then minus this integral right here from 0 to pi over 2. And uh, it's going to be natural log of sine x dx. Okay, so this portion, I think I might need to make another video because it's going to take some time. But we, we could evaluate what's on the left for now. So that's going to be pi over 2 times natural log of sine pi over 2 and then minus 0 okay because it's going to be 0 I'm not going to write it and then minus this quantity here okay so from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine x dx okay now what is sine pi over 2 well pi over 2 is going to be 1 because that's pi over 2 so ln of 1 will be 0 so this whole thing will be 0 so this, it'll be 0 0 okay so this portion is done this becomes let me make it a little bit smaller this becomes just 0 so it's just going to be negative from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine x we have to figure it out so from here, I'm just going to worry about that negative. I'm going to focus on 0 to pi over 2, uh, natural log of sine x. Let's figure what this is first. And then at the end, I'm just going to multiply by negative later. Okay? So I'm just, right now, let's do this integral now. So this became a new problem. Okay, so let's focus on that. Remember, we have a negative outside. Um, there's a property that you should know. So from integral from 0 to, let's say, a of f of x, that's going to be equal to dx. It's going to be equal to from 0 to a of f of uh, a minus x dx. So we're going to apply this property uh, on this problem here. So we're going to have uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2, natural log of sine now instead of writing x there i'm just gonna put a minus x which is pi over 2 minus x here okay okay now what is inside we know that there's another property of trig that says this is a cofunction function so this is a cosine so this is the same thing as cosine x okay so i could read i could write it as from 0 to pi over 2 uh, natural log of it's just gonna be cosine x inside dx what this tells you is that this and this are equal remember in the beginning let's zoom out a little bit uh, I'm just gonna set this problem our problem equal to some kind of a letter I don't know what do you want to call it you want to call it a B yeah what the heck? I'm just gonna call it B now, since these two are equal, remember we have a negative outside, I'm going to put negative out later. These are two equal. If we add them together, let's say this is equal to B, and this is equal to B, 
we have 2b if we add them up should equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of since they have the same upper and lower limit here I'm just gonna add them together in one integral log of sine pi over 2 minus x uh, which is the same thing as uh, sine of x. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to use sine x now. Uh, natural log of sine x plus natural log of cosine x. Everything dx. Okay, so that's equal to 2b. Twice of the uh, original problem here. So, so far we got 2b is equal to from 0 to pi over 2 and I'm going to use the property of log that says if it's same base we add you know this natural log of just multiply those two so natural log of sine x times cosine x like that dx okay so that's equal to 2b okay let me see are we yeah and then what we do what we're going to do is if you look at inside Remember, sine 2x, that's a double angle formula for sine, is 2 times sine x times cosine x. Okay, So what, what's inside is just half of that. So I'm going to put 1 half, or sine, let me see, I'm going to put it over 2. Sine 2x over 2 should equal to just the sine x times cosine x part. I'm going to replace this for that, and then... Rewrite it again, so 0 to pi over 2, natural log of sine 2x, everything over 2, I have dx. Okay, I didn't lose you, right? So, so far, it's okay. So we got 2b is equal to from 0 to pi over 2. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, since it's division inside the natural log, I'm going to minus it. Okay, so limits are same, lower limit and upper limit, so I'm going to separate it, natural log of sine 2x dx, this whole thing dx, minus the integral from 0 to pi over 2, natural log of 2, the denominator right there, okay, and then dx. Well, this is just constant, okay, let me just keep doing it, so 2b is equal to, I'm going to leave that same natural log of sine 2x dx. And then if I integrate this, it's just going to be natural log of 2. And then you have x from 0 to pi over 2. Okay. Then just keep writing the same thing for now. Natural log of sine 2x. I'm just going to evaluate the uh, right side here. It'll be, let me see, minus pi over 2, plug it in. So it's pi over 2, natural log of 2. And then when you plug in 0, natural log of 2 times 0 is just, just 0. So, so, so far we have this right now. What we can do now is let's use u sub here. So I'm going to let u is equal to 2x. du is going to be... Uh, what is that? 2 dx. So 1 half du is going to be dx. But then the limits will change. So 2b is equal to from when you plug in 0 for x, u is going to be also 0. Pi over 2 here, pi over 2 will be pi. So we're going to have natural log of uh, sine 2x. So sine, it's just going to be u. And then dx is going to be 1 half, and then du. Okay, let me erase, no, let me just, uh, yeah, let me just erase this. Now it's all that minus pi over 2 natural log of 2. Okay, and let's keep going. That 1 half can be brought outside. 2b is equal to, I'm going to put 1 half here. From 0 to pi, natural log of sine u, and then du minus that right portion again. Okay. Now, there's a property of a, uh, another integral property that says, like, for example, if it's like 0 to a, 
then if it was f of x dx, then that's equal to, you could just change the variable. And at 0 to a could be f of y uh, dy. Okay, so I'm going to change u in terms of x now. Okay, so we got 2b is going to be 1 half from 0 to pi, keeping everything else same. I'm just going to change natural log of sine of x times dx. You have to change both. Minus pi over 2, natural log of 2. Okay. So we have that for now. And then, now I'm going to change pi into pi over 2. Okay, I'm going to have it so that it looks like our original problem. Um, how do you do that? If, um, let's say, if, for example, f of a minus x is equal to f of x in our case. Remember, it used to be like... Uh, uh, pi over 2 minus theta or x sine you know that's equal to just sine x so in our case if that's true what you need to do is you could you could have the upper bound as long as you multiply by 2 okay that's what we're gonna do here so let me get that out of the way erase this so we have 2b is equal to 1 half times 2, I'm going to twice it, but I'm going to put that pi over 2. And then we have natural log of sine x, and then dx minus pi over 2, natural log of 2, where 2's cancel. Okay. Now, what is this? <laughs> Isn't this the uh, same thing as our original problem here? So that should equal to b, remember? So I'm going to minus it now. So if I minus this whole thing to the left side, I'm just going to have a 1b, which is our original problem, is now equal to negative pi over 2, natural log of 2. From the way beginning, we had negative, in, uh, negative outside taken out, right? So I'm going to multiply by negative 1. So our answer is going to be just pi over 2, natural log of 2.